So we went on a hike, and I was with like two guys and a cameraman because it's going to be on the With Chris thing next week. And uh, on my second channel, more Chris D'Elia, go to that YouTube channel, subscribe and like, and also make friends in these comments too. Now's a good time to do it. But so we went on a hike, and we're doing it. And then there's like it's me, Mike Linochi, and my buddy Dan. Um, and we get to this spot where he's like, Dan's like, we should go over to the fucking, to the rock. And I'm looking and there's like a really narrow way to do it. We got this on the video, but I was like, uh, oh yeah. Okay. And Mike was like, bro, that's too narrow. We can't do that. And I'm like, bro, don't come on. Don't be a pussy. And then even the camera guy with the camera is like, I can do it. And Mike's like, don't do it. You're holding a camera, dude. You could fall off the cliff. So we ended up doing it, and we got there to the rock, and my buddy Dan is always wanting me to take pictures of him. It's really fucking, I mean, you know, he's got like 15,000 followers on Instagram, which is cool, but he's always like, bro, get a picture of me outside near this fire hydrant, and I'm just like, why? He's like, oh, this wall's cool. Get a picture. I'm like, who do you send this to, your mommy? So he'll go like, get a picture. I'm like, God damn it. So we're on the rock, Right. And he's like, let's all get a picture. And I'm like, fine. All right, let's all, it, it's on video. We're shooting the goddamn thing, you know? And so we take the video of the fucking uh, thing. And then the camera guy gets this, uh, takes like one of the other guy's phones and takes a picture of it while he's holding the camera. It's so precarious. We're on this rock where if we slip, we die. Or like one of us at least gets some ruptured discs. And like, so he takes the pic and then we go to leave. And then Dan says, hey, Chris. Get one of just me. Oh. Friendship level dips. I thought we knew each other a little better than that. Because I respect you. I I want to say I did end up taking the picture, but what happened? You didn't respect me, did you? You didn't throw a bag of respect my way when you know I got bags of respect for you. You say, Chris, turn around and take a picture of me. When you know I feel about that and it makes me uncomfortable, it makes me cringe. Oh. Friendship level went down a notch. Right? You are my fourth best friend or whatever. Now you're my fifth. Who went up? You'll never know. That's for me to know. So... Maybe you're my second best friend. Maybe you're first. Who knows? You know, I, I got to, if I had to tally, I had to tally. But we dropped a notch, didn't we? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. We got some making up to do. So I do it. So this is my idea, dude. And this is unbelievable. And this, like, I'm, I'm already at, and by the way, comedically, okay? So don't come at me in the comments. Whoa, Chris has got some serious anger issues. That's between me and my therapist. Wow, Chris really is a dick. Dude, my friends know me, okay? They know me. They know me when I'm fucking firing in all syllables, and they know me when I'm chilling. They know me when I'm really upset, when I'm dark and depressed. They know me when I'm fucking sad. They know all of me. You don't. Thank you, Preach. Appreciate you in my comments, but chill on the, wow, Chris is a dick. His friends need to, shh. Right? Because you don't know me. You don't know the full me, right? Uh, that, 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 if you start thinking about that, okay? So my buddy's like, get one of just me. So I'm like, oh, uh, but okay, I got bags of respect. So I take out my phone, right? And I start, I got this crazy good idea. It's a beautiful landscape, right? And he's looking at me. He's on the very edge of the rock. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I go to do it this way. Guess what? Wasn't good enough. Why? The landscape was banging. Clouds were all sorts of different colors. There was a new color out there I had never seen before, right? So I go from this to this. Oh, he's going to get the landscape, right? That's what everybody's thinking, okay? Because I've got bags of respect for my friend, and I want to get him the best picture for his Instagram that he's going to post, even though no one's going to see it. This. So I'm doing it like this, and then I say, oh, wait, hold on, because I forgot the .5 button that you could hit to make it all wider. Your boy's a photographer, but he doesn't want to be, but it's in his blood in a way. Oh, 
for fuck's sake, dude. He's got the blood of a photographer. Oh, God. We didn't know, right? But he's got a few vials in there. He's got a few vials in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's got a few, a few vials of blood and fucking photographer blood in his fucking butt. Oh, God. So he, so he goes to take, so he hits the point five shit. The landscape widens and holy fucking shit, it looks nice. But that wasn't it, was it? No, because he's got an extra vial of blood of creati creativity in him, doesn't he? Well, why, do you, why, you might ask that sitting at home in your cubicle or in your car in traffic listening to this podcast? Why? Why does he have an extra vial of creativity? Well, let me tell you. I remembered the pano button. Oh, he's going to get it fucking... S oh, shit, he's going to take a photo from here to there is what he's going to do, and it's going to be so fucking awesome, and it's going to look like shit when you zoom out into his camera roll, but when you zoom in and you keep zooming in and you fucking scroll along with it, oh, my God, it's like he's that one chick that takes the photographs of black and white that's really famous that's not even really, you know, Amy Annie Leibovitz or whatever the fucking... Is. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's her name? Who cares? So he does the fucking pan. So he go So this is me taking the picture, okay? Hey, will you take a picture? I go, ugh, friendship, notch down. But then your boy realizes he's got vials of blood of photography in him, so he goes, sure, I'll do it. Does that, whoopsie-daisy, extra vial, whoopsie-daisy, extra vial, whoopsie-daisy, extra vial, right? Okay? So he goes, ugh, realizing, boom, 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 boom. Boom. Your boy is fucking crazy nuts with his iPhone, okay? Imagine what he would be like with a fucking Canon, okay? So he's just chilling, doing all sorts of fucking, you know. I start going, boom. And you know how when you do the panoramic shit and it goes, uh oh, uh, slow down? It doesn't do that for me because I'm Johnny Steadyhands, right? And he goes as slow as he needs to to get the whole thing. My buddy's standing there, dude. <laughs> I'm doing the pano shits. I mean, it's basically like I'm on a swivel chair. I mean, I'm real nice with it, right? My buddy's standing there. And as I get to him, he goes. Ah, 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 You look like a gimp now. Oh, we fucked up together, didn't we? So I go, oh my God, stop the pano. I say, motherfucker, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I fucking, now you look like, dude, it look, I'll show the picture right here. Here it is, right here. Put the picture right there. There it is. That's what it looks like. Bro, <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh my God, it looks so bad. And I'm like, I'm doing a panel thing. What are you doing? He's like, oh, I thought you were taking a video. Oh, dude, do you know how awkward that would be? Just like this. And then all of a sudden he's like, dude, who are you? Dude, it looks so bad, and it's fucking hilarious, and you can see it now, but dude, he did the fucking peace sign, and then I was like, don't do that, and I'm like, I'm going to try it again, I tried it again, and then he didn't move at all, and it fucking came up, I zoomed in, his eyes were too close together, unfucking believable dude, it was unbelievable, it was the best, dude, it was so funny, we were laughing so goddamn hard, it's in the With Chris video, you can go look at it on my YouTube, but, oh fuck, dude, friendship just fucking he became like my 12th best friend in that moment dude we were crying man 